The great thing about working with adjustment layers is that not only can you apply image adjustments non-destructively without harming any pixels, but they also come equipped with a layer mask. And layer masks give you all kinds of creative control, and this is because they enable you to control where an adjustment is applied within the photograph. I'd like to show you how this works, and I'm going to work with the red flower.tiff image, which is available in your assets. And what I'd like to do is create a artistic effect using the selective color adjustment. I'm going to do so using a layer mask. So let's take a look at how this is done. First thing I want to do is go down here at the bottom of the layers panel, click on the adjustment layer icon, and select selective color from the flyout list. All right, now that's automatically going to create the selective color adjustment layer and add it to the layers panel. And then it's going to open up the adjustments panel and display the controls for selective color inside of it. But before I start moving any sliders around inside of selective color, what I want to do is take a look at our layer mask that comes equipped with the selective color adjustment layer. Notice that it's automatically selected. We have this outline around the thumbnail for the mask. That means that I can now work inside of the mask. And what I want to do is load a selection that I saved ahead of time. In the interest of time, I went ahead and made a selection of the red flower so that we can work with it in this particular movie. So to load the selection, we just need to go into the Select menu, choose Load Selection, and then from the Channel list, scroll down to Flower 1. Okay, now this is the selection that I saved as an alpha channel. We'll click OK and then we can see the selection. We have our marching ants going all around the red flower. Okay, so I'd like to use this selection within the layer mask. What I want to do is apply a gradient inside of this selection. So let's go to the gradient tool over here in the tools panel. Here's the icon for the gradient tool. Or we can press G on the keyboard to access that tool quickly. And then up here in the options panel, I'm going to choose a different gradient. Right now we have the default black to white gradient chosen using the default colors of black to white. I'd like to choose black to transparent. Okay, now the reason for that is when you're working in a mask, black conceals and white reveals. So solid black will conceal the selective color adjustment and white will reveal it. So that means if we use a gradient, the variations of gray from black to transparent are going to gradually apply the selective color effect. It just offers you so much control to be able to do this. So what I'm going to do is click with the tool starting here in the center of the flower. That's where I have the cursor right now. I'm going to click and drag diagonally down to where the selection ends. All right, when I let up on the mouse, you can see what's happened here in the layer mask. We've added this gradient, but only inside of the selected area, which is the flower. All right, so from about to the top of the selection up here, the top of the flower to the middle, we're going to be hiding the selective color adjustment that I'm about to make. And then from the middle down, it's gradually going to creep in. And the background area is going to be affected entirely by the selective color adjustment. If you look in our layer mask, the white area is covering the background. So that means it's going to be affected. All right, so I can now deselect by choosing Select, Deselect, or press Command-D on the Mac, Control-D in Windows. And now I can go into the Adjustments panel. I can double-click this icon here, go back to the Adjustments panel, and start moving some sliders around. And what I want to do is change the color of the background from green to more of a bluish purple. It's, again, an artistic effect. It's not meant to be realistic. It's just purely to create effect. All right, so I'm going to choose Neutrals from the Colors drop-down list. And what I want to do is drag the cyan slider to the right. Notice what happens in our image. Drag the yellow slider to the left. And maybe bring the magenta slider up a little bit, too. That helps darken up these shadow areas, which is nice because it helps to smooth out some of these areas of transition uh, where our selection was in the mask. It's kind of nice when we darken that up with the magenta. Bring the cyan over, yellow over. Maybe you can bring the black over a little bit, too, to darken up those areas. I don't want to get too crazy with it, though, because I'm going to start to get a halo. So maybe we'll drag it back, actually. That's starting to look good. Okay, so you can see what we're doing here. Playing around with the colors to create an artistic effect. It's actually looking pretty good. I really like this. Blue instead of green. Okay, let's take a look at the before and the after. If we hold down on the eye icon here, or click on the eye icon at the bottom of the adjustments panel, there's the before, and then here's the after. Notice what's happening. Background color is changing. All of the green area uh, in the background 
now shifting to blue. And it's also creeping up into the flower gradually down here, and then it stops. And then we have the natural color of the flower in the original photograph. That's not being affected. That's because of our layer mask right over here. Okay? Again, there's the before, there's the after. We're able to change those colors by applying a gradient inside of our selection in the layer mask. All right, now the great thing is the layer mask is editable too. And not only can you go back in here and change your slider settings inside of selected color, but you can also go back into the layer mask, change things with a brush, maybe reapply the gradient, or just get rid of the whole thing entirely. You could just fill this with white and get back to square one. And that's the beauty of working with layer masks. They offer you complete creative control. You control where the adjustment is applied in the image by adding black or white or shades of gray in the layer mask.